Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high-value, hi-fi, home theater, and headphone products. And today, we're talking about a DAC, digital to analog converter, the Gustard X18. So, sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Gustard X18. In stunning hi-fi news, Spotify announces that it will be releasing a lossless sound robot that will do light cleaning, cooking, and occasionally babysitting of your children, all while playing lossless music. It'll be available sometime this year. Aoshita reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review the Gustard X18. I said yes, because the X16 is very well regarded and well i wanted to hear the x18 i wanted to hear the x16 but that ship has pretty much sailed so they sent me the x18 which is pretty cool it is a dac it comes in at 750 dollars has the ess saber 9038 pro chip also uses an xmos xu16 processor also has bluetooth capabilities which is all the codecs, so, well, not all of them, most of them, the ones that you want. SBC, which is catch-all, AAC, that's Apple. Aptex, Aptex LL, low latency, Aptex HD, high definition. And LDAC, all of those are different codecs. Point being is, if you have this product and you have a Bluetooth device, you'll be covered. If you have an Android device or a Sony device, chances are you'll be able to use LDAC, which is arguably the better codec. For Bluetooth, X18 can also do full MQA on pretty much all of the outputs. What are the outputs? I'm glad you asked. On the back, we have from left to right a pair of balanced outputs next to a single-ended RCA output pair. Next to that is an IIS connection for all of your digital audio IIS needs. Gustard X18 has you covered. Next to that is the AES digital connection. Just for all of your digital AES needs, Gustard X18 has you covered. Then you have a full-size optical above that, a digital coaxial. Next to that, you have the Bluetooth antenna and then a full-size USB. Next to that, you have a voltage switch, IEC connector. There's a fuse next to that and then a master on off switch this is actually quite heavy it has a total transformer inside and i probably couldn't do this for very long because it's pretty heavy very good looking very good looking so this one's in silver it also comes in black actually this is a little bit sharp be careful and cut yourself back here but the the coating's a bit of a rut you might be able to hear that coating's a little bit rough and i kind of like that it's very textured uh, on the front, it's pretty simple. Gustard logo, power on off, and then uh, a screen, small screen. And then the actuating knob thing. So it goes, ooh, spins around like that, and then it pushy, pushy right there. Spinny, spinny, pushy, pushy display. Let's talk about this. But it also has cool looking feet. I like it. It looks really good. $750. And it looks like a $750 DAC and feels like a $750 DAC. Let's talk about the display. It's fundamentally useless. Unless you are three feet or closer, even at three feet, I really couldn't see. And I've got glasses now, so I can see even better. Still couldn't see it. So unless this is in a desktop situation or you have your rack right here, the display is kind of worthless. It's nice but small font, real small font. It'd be cool if you could just change it so that it lit up, I don't know, OPT for optical, whatever it is. It has a display. Whether or not you're gonna get much value out of it, I don't know. Remote control, um, it's okay, it works. This is the same style of remote control one will get with a $150 DAC or a $200 DAC. At $750, I'm not one to really 
split hairs when it comes to remote controls as long as it works that's usually the only thing i care about we're above 500 though they are obviously positioning this as a premium product it looks like a premium product it feels like a premium product until you pick up the remote the remote does not feel premium the remote feels exactly like a remote you would get from a 150 dollars DAC. i would expect if i'm shelling out this much money for a DAC, i'm gonna get a better remote does it work yes is it functional absolutely it just doesn't look good it looks cheap very cheap because it is cheap i recently did a video on the smsl m500 that is also a balanced dac that also has bluetooth that also has ldac bluetooth also has the 9038 pro chipset which this one has too also has the xmos xu16 chipset there is some differences with the op amps in the gustard x18 versus the smsl m500 However, they are spec'd very similarly from a hardware and a performance standpoint. That DAC comes in at $450. Now, it doesn't look like this one, but they have a lot more in common than they don't. From a sound perspective, I compared this directly to the Denifreps Ares 2. Denifreps Ares 2 comes in at $850 US-ish. And... I'm going to include a screenshot because people have been saying the Denifred Series 2 is over $1,000. It is not if you go to their website. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little area where it has currency. Change that from Singapore dollars to U.S. dollars or Canadian or whatever it is, and it's going to give you the right price. Even if you buy it at Singapore dollars, it's still going to be converted to USD or Canadian or whatever it is, and you're going to get the proper price point being denifrap series 2 is not a thousand dollars or above a thousand dollars it's 850 dollars so while those two DACs have different topologies denifrap series 2 is an r2r this is a delta sigma DAC. they're both balanced this one has way more functionality though with remote control and bluetooth and things like that but those are the two DACs that i have in house that are priced somewhat similarly so I compared them. From a sonic perspective, the X18 really fits into what is starting to establish itself as a family of DAC. Those include from lowest price to highest price, Topping, E50, Gashelli Labs, J2, uh, the M5, SMSL, M500, Schitt, Bifrost 2, Topping, D90SE. They all have a fuller presentation. They lack a bit of detail on top in comparison to things like the Denifreps Ares 2. Lacks a little bit of air compared to the Denifreps Ares 2. Johnny Cash, God's going to cut you down. His voice through the Gustard X18 really was more baritone-y than through the Denifreps Ares 2. The Denifreps Ares 2 didn't sound thin, but the Gustard X18 really gave it a ton of body now in reverb acoustic guitars and things like that the gustard did not resolve that like the aries 2 did so on i think i'm dumb by nirvana mtv unplugged wasn't really apparent during the mid portion of the song except the gustard seemed a lot fuller but at the end with the applause and kurt cobain talking without the band going on there was definitely more going on with the Aries 2 than there was with the Gustard. The X18's top end seemed really veiled in comparison to the Aries 2. However, don't let that dissuade you because this DAC will pair up with specific equipment probably better than the Aries 2 will. From a soundstage perspective, very similar to the E50, very similar to the SMSL M500, very similar to the Schitt Bifrost, similar to the D90. However, within that category of what I will call sonic characteristics, the Gashelli Labs J2 actually sound stages bigger and better than the Gustard X18. It's interesting that the J2 at half the price sound stages better than this one does, but it also sound stages better than the D90 or the Bifrost 2. The J2 is just a really big and open DAC from a soundstage perspective. The Gustard's gonna pair really well with amps and speakers that lean more analytical. Crown, drive core amps, the NAD C338, the Schitt, Freya, and Vidar combination. 
this is going to pair well with these and it makes sense because this one sounds like the bifrost also going to pair well with speakers such as uh, revel klipsch focal i know i'm painting with broad strokes here not all those speakers sound the same but it will pair well with those any of the emotiva offerings it's going to pair well with q acoustics basically any speaker that's neutral elac unified 2.0 any speaker that's neutral or leans a little bit lively or analytical this is going to pair very well with this is a great sounding deck iFi has one called the idsd neo i think neo idsd i prefer this one over that one they're i think roughly the same price and they have roughly the same type of connections it sounds good if I didn't have the Denifreps Ares 2, this may be a little bit of a different review. But the Denifreps Ares 2 does a better job on top, bigger soundstage. This one is fuller. The problem with the Gustard X18 is nothing with it, per se, but the SMSL M500. Coming in at almost $300 less, unless one really needs the IIS connection or the AES connection, I don't see where the value is. The value is how it looks, the toroidal transformer, although I didn't particularly hear a huge sonic difference or advantage with the toroidal transformer over the switching power supply in the SMSL M500. I think if one really sits down and spends a lot of time with those two, you may be able to tell a difference, but from my experience, they sounded awful similar. There's some value in how this looks too. It's, it's a really good looking DAC. This is kind of cool. At $750, I think this should have a better display and a better remote. But if you need those type of connections, you want something that looks like this, that's built like a tank and sounds very good, then the Goose Start should be on your shortlist. I would buy this way before I bought the Topping D90 SE. However, I think the price is a little bit too much for what it is. Unless you need those connections. If you need the AES or the IIS connection, yeah, I get it. This has some internal reclocking things that maybe are better than the M500. It has that too. This also has a variety of roll-off modes, but you're not going to know which one you're in because you can't see it on the display unless it's right up in your face. I think this thing looks great. However, you need to set it up first and then put it in your rack and leave it alone. It looks fantastic. It looks premium. It's, it's heavy. If you have a more analytical, cooler amp, more analytical borderline bright speakers they'll benefit from this if you're looking for the widest sound staging dac this isn't it i'm on the fence with the gustard x18 if you're looking at the d90 se then get this one i think you're getting everything that you're getting with the d90 se you're getting it cheaper and it's better looking okay so if you want to support the channel you can sign up for patreon patreon.com so that's cheap audio man every sunday night we have patron only zooms we also have a patron only facebook group you can also sign up for Amazon Music. There are links in the description. Click on the links, sign up. You get a few months for free. I get a couple of bucks. I also have a title link. I don't know if it works or not, but you can click on that and sign up. I think they're running a special right now. You get uh, three months for a buck or two bucks, depending upon which tier you choose. You can also use the affiliate links in the description. I will have this linked as an affiliate link. I'll also have some other products in there. It's a good way to support the channel because it doesn't cost you a nickel extra. So don't binge watch anything. Maybe binge listen to the Gustard X18 or the SMSL M500 and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.